in a world where anyone can have a podcast. Peter Von Panda is one of them. Rants are taken to a whole new level. This is the Peter Von Panda Podcast. A giant waste of time. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hope you're doing well. Listen, I just wanted to talk to you about drones. Um, I've had some of the really cheap drones, you know. They have like, you know, a 4 megapixel camera and they're just controller based and they're really hard to control. You know, obviously there's some really good DJI drones out there that are stabilized and they're kind of idiot proof in many ways. But the one drone that I've always wanted was the Skydio drone. It was a larger drone and what really made it interesting is that it was an autonomous flying drone. And so what you could do is you could um, send it off, let it track you, and then go on a hike and it would follow you, it would lead you, it would stay with you. And that's really what I wanted. So getting aerial footage is pretty cool. That's that's certainly an advantage. But the nice thing about the Skydio drone is you could get action shots of you. So one of the problems I've always had is I go on vacation, uh, we go to these beautiful vistas, these awesome trails, um, great landmark locations, beautiful hotels, wonderful beaches, whatever, and you don't get really any of those epic cinematic shots, right? And on top of that, when you are controlling your camera or your iPhone or whatever you're using, you're never in those shots unless it's like a selfie and those always look a little sketch. Anyway, so the cool thing about the Skydio is you can throw that sucker up there. I can be walking with my friends, my family, whatever, and it's shooting me like a third person. I don't have to take someone with me and you can do it anywhere and get some shots that otherwise you would just never be able to get. Now, the Skydio drone had a couple of problems. One, it was pretty large, which uh, to me isn't a huge issue, but it was also very expensive. It was like 2000 plus dollars and then uh lastly in terms of camera quality it wasn't the best now it was pretty good and i didn't even realize that it was like a lower end of the hd range until you know people would comment hey this mavic pro whatever has uh 12 megapixel camera, whatever, right? So I didn't even realize that. I saw some of the footage and it looked pretty good, but I'm sure it was like 1080p, maybe even 720p, but it was HD, but but barely. Um, and so uh, between the fact that it was autonomous flying, you could get yourself in some of those shots, you could still use it like a regular drone in many ways. That's the one I wanted. And the problem with it was, uh, even if you tried to buy them used on eBay, they were still going for like 14, 1500 bucks used. And so I always looked at them and I was pretty excited. Now, um, This summer, Skydio, because I was subscribed to their email list, sent out an email that said, hey, we have a new drone coming out, don't buy any drones, which was kind of funny because you're basically cannibalizing your own sales, but I also get that you're also getting people to maybe hold off for a few months before they buy their drone. Now, uh, just today, it's uh, October uh, 1st, they released an email with more details on what they call the Skydio 2 drone. And it's amazeballs. First of all, it's smaller. It flies longer, you know, almost half an hour. It's 50% quieter. It has like a 45 megapixel camera. It still has all those autonomous features. It comes with a couple of other accessories, or it doesn't come with them, but it has a pretty affordable additional accessories. So you can fly it from your, your uh, smartphone, but you can also get like a beacon that extends the range and will track you and has GPS on it. So it will send that GPS signal to the drone apparently. So even if it can't see you flying through uh, trees or something like that it will stay with you Uh, it also comes with a controller which you might be familiar with like on the dgis so that you can see what it's seeing and just control it and take some really awesome shots so all of that is pretty awesome it's a little smaller it doesn't have the guards around the propellers so uh you know the the fact that it 3d maps out its area and flies with you and avoids obstacles makes it just uh, you know some of the shots look unreal uh it's kind of like the uh return of the jedi speeder bikes through endor forest you know it's just it's it's like that except probably even better because they're not uh walking through the forest and speeding up the footage i mean it's smooth and man i just can't wait to get it and use it now i think this thing is coming out potentially this fall november which isn't probably the perfect time for me to get it because the weather around here kind of stinks but i'll certainly take it on my next vacation and i will review it as soon as i get it but the best part of this the best part of waking up is Skydio is now only a thousand bucks. Listen, it is a like it's a nine ninety nine uh, drone, which I think 
for all those features and for its capability is a fair price for a drone. Now, it's not a giveaway drone. It's not one of these $80, $90 drones for sure. But I think that puts it squarely in the price of some of these other Mavics and other, you know, the Parrots and other drones out there. And yet the autonomous feature and the, the functionality, that 3D mapping, which I think was just light years ahead of all the other drones in the original version. I hope and assume it's even, it's as good or better in the new one. And then the better camera and the smaller packaging uh, and the price point that's been cut in half blows my mind. My peanut sized brain is blown. And so what they are doing is offering um, reservations for $100 refundable deposit. So I obviously threw one down there because I want to get this sucker as quickly as I can. I want to get it on the channel, share with you what my thoughts are. It'll be my first real drone and I am stoked. I'm just stoked all around. Um, I think it's just an incredible package at a great value. So if you want to pick up the Skydio 2, uh, I definitely think it's worth checking out. Skydio is S-K-Y-D-I-O and uh, it just looks amazing. Can't wait to share it with you. Stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see my uh, impressions of it when it gets here in November. Uh, totally unbiased. I'm paying the full $1,000 uh, the full boat for the thing. So no one is buying my review on it. That's it. Skydio 2. I'm wicked excited. Peter Von Panda. Out. This is the Peter Von Panda Podcast. A giant waste of time.